Whenever I come up with videos about why Tesla as Optimus Robot is not as advanced compared to something like Boston Dynamics Atlas or Figure AI's Humanoids, I always get insults from Tesla fanboys in the comment section. But now, Grok, the AI that Elon Musk himself owns, has given its own rankings and the result, Optimus was placed last, ranked at number 5 out of 5. So let's break down why Grok of all things has humbled Tesla's robot and why it thinks Atlas deserves the number one spot. According to Grok, Boston Dynamics Atlas robot is still in a league of its own. The reason is simple. Atlas is the only humanoid robot that has actually demonstrated fully autonomous dynamic movements in real world conditions. We've all seen the parkour videos, the smooth transitions, and the ability to correct itself mid-air during a jump. They're proof of balance, spatial awareness, and adaptability. Now, we do know that Figure L2 is also said to have achieved autonomy, especially with its recent deployment at the BMW plant. But the key difference here is maturity. Atlas has been refined for over a decade. It also has the most robust research foundation behind it. And Grok made it clear that this foundation, now bolstered by Hyundai's involvement, gives Atlas a long-term edge when it comes to both performance and industrial integration. And once they dumped expensive hydraulic actuators for electric one, we have seen them making tremendous progress that Hyundai is planning to start using Atlas soon in their manufacturing plant. Figure Aero 2 from Figure AI earned the number two spot because it is no longer just a lab experiment. It has a real job. At BMW's manufacturing plant, Figure Zero 2 is already performing autonomous tasks. That's a major milestone. It shows the robot is thinking, acting, and adapting in real world environments. Unlike Tesla Optimus, the robot isn't just showing off in carefully controlled environments or dance routines, it's contributing to the workforce. That real world deployment, even if early stage, is what set it ahead of most other contenders. And also about two months ago, they released Helix, which is a generalist vision language action VLA model that unifies perception, language understanding, and learn control to overcome multiple long-standing challenges in robotics. Equipped with Helix, it means that Figure can now pick up virtually any small household object, including thousands of items they have never encountered before, simply by following natural language prompts. Which opens the option for them to enter the home or household robotic space in the near future and challenge the likes of NVIDIA-backed 41 robot of NeuroRobotics and also open AI-backed 1X Neo Gamma. Coming in at number three is Agility Robotics Digit. Digit is already commercially active with two paying jobs, one with Amazon in their warehouse system and another pilot program focused on logistics at GXO. They pioneered the robot as a service model, which means instead of spending thousands to own a robot, you can just hire one for the service. Currently, they work at $30 per hour at a ration of two to one, which means customers get two units of runtime while the other is charging. But what really made Grok Place Digit so high is its safety breakthrough. Agility has developed and is about to release the first major safety update specifically designed to make humanoid robots reliably safe around human workers. This is not a minor feature. It solves one of the biggest issues in humanoid robotics. Being able to coexist in human workspaces without risk is what will make or break these robots. Digit has been designed with this in mind from the start. Whooptex Walker S1 was ranked fourth by Grok. While not as flashy as others on this list, its slow walking pace doesn't tell the full story. Walker S1 has been performing real factory tasks since it is currently employed at the NIO car factory, where it performs inspections like checking seat belts and other repetitive tasks. It's also undergoing training at Zika's facility to begin new duties there. In short, this is the robot that's actually replacing human workers in China. Its integration into production lines gives it strong marks for usability, even if its hardware performance isn't cutting edge. Tesla's Optimus ranked number five. Grok noted that Optimus has impressive mobility, especially with its new dance routine showing improved balance and movement coordination. But here's the issue. Its practical application is still in the early phase. It's been used for very basic tasks inside Tesla factories, and even those are tightly controlled. There's no evidence yet of autonomy or high-level cognitive function. While Elon Musk plans to scale production and bring costs down by 2026, the robot right now is essentially a promising prototype. Compared to robots that are already working, Optimus is playing catch-up. Interestingly, Unitree's G1 wasn't even on Grok's top five list despite its impressive improvements in 2024. That raised some eyebrows, and here's why. Unitree G1 has shown very fluid walking, running, and dynamic movements on par or even better than Tesla's Optimus. 
but Unitree's robot is heavily reliant on remote control, and during a recent robot marathon in China, G1's limitations were laid bare. It doesn't have the level of onboard autonomy we see in American robots. Most of what we see in promo videos is human directed. It also struggles with cognitive level tasks due to China's lack of access to advanced chips caused by ongoing restrictions. The brain power of American robots, especially Atlas, Figure, and Digit, is way ahead. That said, Unitry G1 absolutely deserves to be on the list, potentially at position four or above Optimus when you factor in walking gait, speed, and movement efficiency. Its exclusion might simply be a result of Grok relying on outdated data. When Grok was asked who would be best positioned to scale humanoid robotics in the near future, the AI once again turned away from Tesla and pointed instead to Chinese companies like UB Tech and Unitree. According to Grok, these companies benefit from lower production costs, with Unitree's G1 robot priced at just $16,000 and a well-established manufacturing ecosystem in China. Grok noted that Unitree has plans to produce over 1,000 G1 units in 2025, giving them a potential edge in mass deployment. This revelation suggested that while Tesla may dominate headlines, the real competition in scaling robotics might come from China. Still, many Tesla fans brushed off the criticism and rallied behind Optimus, impressed by its fluid dance routines and increasingly lifelike movement with some even calling it the most human looking performance yet. So for Tesla fanboys, you have to know that the rankings were in a T based on hype, but instead on real world deployment, autonomy, and practical usefulness. Until Optimus can do more than dance and pick up lightweight items under supervision, it is gonna remain where Grok put it, last place on the list of top humanoid robots. Among these four robots, which one do you think is the best when it comes to dancing?